scratches. It's one of those things that can ruin the look of your metal roof or even cause roof failure. In this video, we're learning how to prevent scratches during installation, how they're repaired, and how to recognize when they can become a serious problem. What's up guys, I'm Thad Barnett. Make sure you subscribe here to the Metal Roofing channel. We release new metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Metal roofing is a product with a clean, premium looking finish. However, excessive scratching can quickly make an expensive material look bad and lead to corrosion. Now, metal roofing is a durable product, but it's important to know what can happen if an issue does occur. First, we need to understand the key differences between surface scratches and deep gouges. And in this video, we're focusing on galvalume and galvanized steel products. Typically, a painted metal panel starts with the bare steel, followed by consecutive coatings of pre-treatment, primer, and a finish paint. A surface scratch that penetrates through one of these top layers will be unsightly, but primarily only a cosmetic issue, at least right away. However, if the panel suffers a deep gouge that breaks the top coat, primer, and pre-treatment, that material will corrode quickly. The substrate does make a difference too. A galvanized material will exhibit rapid spread of any corrosion, while galvalume will corrode initially, but then do a much better job of containing the spread. And if you remember the galvalume versus galvanized Q&A episode that we did, that's due to the self-healing characteristics of galvalume's aluminum and zinc coating. The link is in the description for that video. Scratching prevention begins the second the contractor receives the material. Take care when moving coils and sheets, transporting metal, loading it into a roll former, and stacking finished panels. Use a pre-applied protective film when possible to protect material as it's being formed and installed. On the job site, store panels properly, don't drop tools on them, and try to walk on them as little as possible during installation. Eventually, of course, you'll have to walk on the finished roofing panels, so check out this clip to learn a few tips on how to protect yourself and the roof. During your standing seam metal roof installation, you wanna to try to minimize foot traffic on the roof as much as possible. But inevitably, you're gonna eventually have to step on the panel during the installation, during maintenance if you're a homeowner or anything like that. So there's a couple things that you wanna keep in mind. Number one, making sure you have clean shoes before coming up onto a roof. If the job site is dirty, it's messy, it's muddy, and you're walking through that and then bring that up the ladder, and start walking all over the roof, you have the potential to not only damage the roof, but cause slip hazards with that material as well. So uh, before you come up on the roof, change shoes. If they're a mess, they're dirty, change shoes before you come up on the roof. Also, when you're actually stepping on the roof, make sure you're conscious of where you step and how you step. You're not gonna wanna put your foot down and rotate your foot. That can cause scratches as well. If there's granules or other type of foreign matter on the actual roof panel, that can be dangerous for the panel and for yourself. Another thing is be conscious of like your harness or uh, tags like this uh, that attach to your rope. Anything like this that's swinging could fall and hit the panel and damage the panel like that. Tools, tool belts, clasps on the actual harness that you have. If you're maybe sitting and, and doing something or you roll over to one side, you could damage the, the roof panel as well. When you're walking down a roof, as I mentioned, make sure you don't rotate your foot. When you come to like a, a valley area like this, you're not gonna wanna step right next to the valley here. That could crimp those panels that you can see are slightly higher than the rest of the roof over here. You wanna be careful about stepping on the ribs of certain panel profiles. For example, this panel that we're using, the inch and a half snap lock panel, if you step and put weight on this rib, you have the potential to crinkle it and damage it. Another thing you should watch out for is swarf. These are shavings caused by drilling into metal and can both burn into your finish and scratch your roof if stepped on. Be sure to clean those off. For small scratches that only break through a surface layer of paint, manufacturers have products called paint pens designed for small touch-ups. 
They contain the exact color used on the roof and are a great tool to have on the job site. Let's go check in with Matt Lane from Metal Construction Solutions and Installations and learn how to use one. Truth of the matter is when we're dealing with, with a substrate like this, we do everything we can to try to prevent scratches. But at the end of the day, there probably isn't a roof that goes on that doesn't have, have a scratch or two in it. Obviously, the more you can do, stay out of the valleys. Um, try to do your work like pipe boots and such as you're sheeting across so you're spending less time on the panels. But things are gonna happen. So we've got products like this here. This is Sheffield Metals touch-up pen that has a, has a Kynar paint finish in it. You kinda have to work the pen a little bit, but this little scratch here, we've cleaned up really good, wiped it all off, and we can literally just pretty much take a pen right over that, and we got another little nick here, so we wanna pump it a couple times to get our finish, and then just, you know, just coat that scratch a little bit to give that metal the, a little bit extra protection. So when we're dealing with the paint pen, obviously this is you know a, a tiny problem thing. You know we got a real minor uh, nick in the paint. Maybe you're just touching the primer a little bit. Uh, anything major than that, you know, you get down to the galvalume, you definitely get down to the steel. You know you're not going to want to use that piece of material. This is you know a small, small scratch. You know you drop a hammer in here, you, you gouge this real bad down to the galvalume. Now you're going to be dealing with other issues. So you want to make sure that you're only using this dealing with small, minor little repairs. It's important to note that the color in the paint pen must match exactly to the color of your roof in order to properly hide scratches. If it's a brand new roof that needs touched up, a standard paint pen from a manufacturer that matches the roof color will work. But if the roof is older and has endured some kind of color change due to the sun or environmental exposure, you can submit a new color standard to the manufacturer to get a custom matched paint pen. When it comes to deep gouges, if you're installing a roof and a piece of material gets heavily scratched in the process, don't install that piece of material. If you have an existing roof that gets gouged by say, storm debris, that area of your roof needs to be checked frequently. Remember, a scratch that breaks through all three coating layers will corrode quickly. Once you identify a deep gouge, speed is of the essence. Reach out to your contractor immediately so that they can put you on the right path to remedying the issue. The chance of failure will increase the longer you wait. Scratches and gouges can be stressful to deal with on your metal roof, but I hope you learned a little bit how to prevent those issues and repair them if possible. Of course, I can't cover every scenario in this video, so if you have any other tips on how to prevent metal scratching, share with us in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel, and as always, I'm Thad Barnett, and I'll catch you again next time.